Hey there, welcome to Tech Upbeat. In this video, I'm gonna explain about different formats of images. Before I jump into the topic, I request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future updates. First one we have is JPEG or JPG, Joint Photographic Experts Group. This term may sound alien to you, you just don't need to remember this term. JPEG is a 24-bit image format which uses lossy image compression thus leading to smaller image file sizes. Because JPEG uses lossy image compression, every time you work on any JPEG image and save it, you will lose the quality and size of the image itself. So obviously over a period of time that image becomes useless. So when you are working with JPEGs, I strongly recommend you to save original copy in some other location. JPEG supports millions of colors. So it is ideal for general uses and pics that have different colors. Number 2. PNG Portable Network Graphics It is also a 24-bit image format, but it uses lossless image compression, leading to large file sizes. And also PNG support transparency. I mean if you want an image background to be transparent, PNGs can do that for you. That's why PNGs are recommended for web uses. I mean if you have any website, you can upload PNG images to your website. Number 3. GIF Graphics Interchange Format GIF is a 8-bit image format, so it only supports 256 colors. Also GIF supports smaller animation. That's why GIFs are ideal for thumbnails, small animated images, or images that have more solid colors. Number 4. TIFF Tag Image File Format TIFF uses raster images and provides high contrast. I mean if you print out any TIFF image, you will get high contrast output. That's why TIFF is recommended for publishing industry and photographers. So if you are going for a browser printout or a book printout, I would recommend to use a TIFF format. TIFF supports both lossless and lossy image compression. So it's up to you whether to use lossy compression or lossless compression. Number 5. SVG Scalable Vector Graphics Usually when you zoom in any JPEG, PNG or GIF, after a certain level, they'll get blurred out. Because they are confined to particular dimensions and colors. But SVG works based on the lines, dots and shapes and their relative position to each other. So you can zoom in any SVG image as much as you can, still you won't lose the quality of that image. I mean the image won't get blurred out. That's why SVG is recommended file format for logo creation. Because logo needs more depth. So even if you zoom in your logo for a large extent, it should look clear. Number 6. Raw Image This is not any image format. This is just a original format of any image. For example, if you capture any photo using your DSLR camera, it stores image in raw format. I mean, it will have all the details of that particular photograph in it. So designers use these raw images in their editing process because it contains all the details of that particular photograph and it is easy to work on those details. That's all folks, I hope now you know different image formats and when to use them. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to receive the notifications of our future videos. Talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.